All right, Carlos, Carlos here. Uh, and well, I am Carlos at the moment. I'm in, I'm in an abode. Um, but I'm uploading videos from last month from Carlos Carlos um, campaigning. And I realized that there was a moment in between two of the videos that there was no opportunity to make a video. It's kind of one of the more adventuresome moments of the uh, of my time. And I wanted to put this, because this is, I don't know who the fuck's going to watch this. But I'm going to watch this at some point and remember these things. So it's sort of like me documenting and putting on YouTube in case anybody else wants to watch it. But also I could go back and watch it and remember. Um... So something I definitely don't want to forget was the night that I walked um, through the night, starting at 12 a.m., walking all the way to ultimately to Ocean County Freeholders Meeting in Tom's River. I walked through uh, the whole SRL pipeline length, and it goes on this road, Province Line Road, which is not the same one as it is in Mercer County. But um, I went on Province Line Road right before it turns. I was staying out of the streets when cars would go by. Uh, an officer actually pulled me over earlier in the night and told me, um, you know, be safe, don't do anything stupid. And then they, the officers kept driving back and forth for a while. This was in Chesterfield. Um, and I knew they were sort of shadowing me and just... Check. It was kind of nice, actually. I I, um, I was a little worried. You know what I'm doing is against the pipeline, and somebody else was really, really bad car accident, almost killed her. Um, and she was the most outspoken person against the pipeline. And I was, it wasn't, I wasn't the only one that that occurred to that maybe that wasn't an accident. Um, so there's a lot of money in this, and I'm all alone in the middle of the night, and so I'd get nervous. So, um. I'd stay off the road a couple times, like I angled myself, so I, and it's dark out there. There's no street lights for a lot of it, so um, I uh, would angle myself behind a tree when a car went by. My imagination would get carried away with me that oh, it was like somebody. I got to make sure they don't see me. It's kind of fun, um, you know. The child, child in all of us likes that kind of stuff. But um, so what happened was I made the frog video. And then maybe, I don't know, like half an hour later, I was, well, I walked up this driveway because I saw a car coming and I walked up the driveway and then hid behind a bush. But um, the only way that I would be seen, just like the other times, was if this person decided to go up this driveway and it was a van and they slowed down very suspiciously on the road and then they made the turn up the driveway and then I knew they were going to see me. So I just stood up and looked and I couldn't see anything inside the van but they drove right by me and then drove a little bit more up and then stopped and I was like oh shit they probably did see me and wondered what the hell I'm doing there um, but it was this big green van and it didn't look like a van that fit the description this was sort of a, I wouldn't even call it a McMansion I call it a mansion um, they had like little lights at the bottom of the driveway and the long driveway and then the house kind of way tucked in the back and they stopped and I was like so I, I got back in the driveway from the bush where I was standing behind them and I was like oh hey and then all of a sudden they started going really fast backwards in reverse so I ran and I, I made a left turn continued you know I wasn't really thinking of in these terms but went in the direction that I hadn't gone yet that I was going before I got out of the road to begin with. And I looked back and they were reversing out into the road. And I knew they that I was quick enough by that point, far enough ahead. I made a quick left turn into like a few yards down. And then there was open, there was kind of openings. It was, these houses were big houses and I was able to kind of be back there and I saw the van go vroom, up the you know down the road <clears throat> when I was I felt safe enough where I was but I didn't want to stay there too long because um, I you know I was assuming they were looking for me and I didn't know who they were I don't know that they were necessarily from that house the way the van slowed down and decided to go up that driveway it seemed like they were sort of 
not necessarily uh, in cahoots themselves. And I wasn't. I'm just some wacko doing this nighttime walk. Um, so <clears throat> the next <clears throat> 40 minutes, um, I walked a couple houses down and, and through the yards. I just was like, I, I, gotta, I can't go back on the main road yet. And then I just waited by a bush for a while. Um, in a house, I just, the energy felt very comforting and I just was kind of like coming down like, okay, you know, I've got a plan now. And I, I took out my phone and used the location, figured out the maps and was like, all right, I'm close to this point. And I sort of the next couple hours, I did get back on the road, but I had, I always made sure I had an escape exit in case that dude came looking or woman, I don't know who it was or a group of people, but, um, yeah, so that was a weird experience with this, and uh, it was in the middle of the night, barely, you know, there were houses there, but it was kind of in the middle of nowhere, um, very western Monmouth County, or very east, northeastern-ish Burlington County area. Uh, so yeah, I just want to include this, I'm probably talking to my future self, if anybody else watches this, um, there you have it, alright. Bye.